The activate sludge or mixed liquor suspended solids flows from the aerated basin to a sedimentation basin or clarifier to allow the suspended solids to settle creating a sludge blanket. A portion of this sludge blanket is piped to the solids processing area for further treatment and is called waste activated sludge. There are many variations on the active sludge process. Each variation is designed to address a specific issue or problem. Some modifications are characterized by differences in mixing and flow patterns in the aeration basin and in the manner in which the microorganisms are mixed with the incoming wastewater. Fixed growth activated sludge systems are designed to keep wastewater in contact with microbial growths attached to surfaces of supporting media. Types of fixed growth systems include trickling filters, where wastewater is distributed over a bed of media, a biological tower where wastewater is distributed over 14 to 20 feet of synthetic media, or a rotating biological contactor where a series of circular plates on a common shaft are slowly rotated while partially submerged in wastewater. Although the physical structures differ, the biological process is the same in all of these fixed growth systems. Wastewater is distributed over the fixed media producing a biological slime that coats the surface. These biological slimes include bacteria, protozoa, fungi, and other living organisms that coat the surface of the fixed growth systems and feed on organic wastes. Organisms attached to the media in the upper layer grow quickly feeding on the food supply. One of the most commonly used fixed growth systems is a trickling filter. The filter serves a dual purpose of filtering the wastewater and supporting biological growth that feed on the waste materials. Physically, the trickling filter looks like a circular basin filled with natural rock or slag or synthetic materials that are usually two to five inches in diameter since very small filter materials tend to slow and impede the flow of water and air. Positioned above the bed is a lateral or rotary moving wastewater distributing arm. This arm distributes the wastewater as evenly as possible over the trickling bed. As the wastewater trickles downward, the organic content decreases to the point where microorganisms toward the bottom layer are starving. Biological filtration is commonly referred to as aerobic treatment, but it is in fact a facultative system incorporating both aerobic and anaerobic activity. Excess microbial growth sloughs off the media and is removed in the secondary clarifier.